Eating meat is not easy. Meat is the body of another animal, an animal that runs, that tries to avoid being captured. Hunters need great physical capacity, and every attempt is a risk. Failures are frequent, and with each one, hunger increases and energy is reduced. That is why the majority of the survivors of the planet Earth use a different system to obtain food. Gathering means collecting, accumulating different things. Gather animals spend their whole time moving around, almost always eating grasses, fruits and leaves, but often they also come across honey, insects or eggs, which supplement their diet. Vegetables generally have fewer proteins than meat, but they're all around and do not flee. So the only thing you need to do is eat a great quantity of them, and at the same time try to make sure the carnivores do not eat you. Hunters and gatherers, both systems have their pros and their cons, Hunters may spend weeks between one meal and next, periods of enforced fasting which are compensated for when they are successful. The primates, well adapted to eating fruits up in the trees, always complement their diet with insects and eggs they occasionally find, and they conserved this custom when they came down from the trees some 15 million years ago. However, gathering plants sometimes forces them to travel long distances. Droughts began and the herds had to migrate in search of places with water and vegetation. They were followed by another type of killer, a descendant of vegetarians who had acquired a taste for meat. Man applied all his intelligence to hunting, inventing all kinds of tricks to compete with large carnivores. And like them, he soon realized that the life of the hunter is too uncertain, and that a growing population of humans could not depend exclusively on meat. The solution was to combine the two systems, to gather fruits, berries, roots and leaves to see them through the long periods of unsuccessful hunting. But then humans asked themselves, what would happen if instead of going out in search of food, I grew it right here by my house? That thought was to change the planet. In the interior of these jungles on the island of Borneo lives a primate whose knowledge of botany is incredible. It can spend months up in the trees looking for fruit without ever coming down to the ground. That animal is the orangutan. But in this world of apparent abundance, gathering plants is not as simple as it seems. Not all the trees bear fruit at the same time, and sometimes not even all the branches of the same tree. The orangutan has a memory capable of recognizing over 400 different types of food. It must remember the exact place of each species of tree and the approximate date on which the fruits mature. It must also avoid the poisonous parts of some of them, as well as the thorns or hard skins. All of this it learns from its mother over years, observing her on her wanderings around the jungle. An efficient gatherer like the orangutan, and like our simian ancestors, must have good sight in order to recognize the bright colors of the fruits in the jungle, while the carnivores see in black and white, giving preference to movement and nocturnal vision. 
A good gatherer has a discerning palate to distinguish the sweet flavor of ripe fruits and taste them to remove the indigestible parts. Carnivores, on the other hand, swallowed large pieces of meat without tasting them at all. A gatherer must have hands with agile fingers to peel the fruits and cling onto the branches, whereas a carnivore prefers claws. Finally, a gatherer needs a large efficient brain to remember every corner of its habitat. The orangutan teaches us that a lot of what we have in common is due to the fact that, like it, we too were once gatherers.